lot going on today, guys. Sorry, the excitement is real. The passion for, for, for what I do here is, is real. I'm honestly telling you guys, lots going on, lots to share. Some breaking news today that I wanted to share with you guys about this power outage, internet outage rather. It hit banks, it hit gaming services, it hit Amazon, it hit airlines. Now, there it's unknown causes of this massive outage, internet outage, but we just need to be prepared and we need to start uh, connecting the dots on some of these things. Today it's an internet outage. Yesterday it's a, it's it's a fuel. Uh, then it's then it's rubber. Then it's food. Then it's ammo. Then it's supplies. Whatever day they choose to make it their day to have something happen, the cabal, the evil people that run this globe that are in control of things, they they come up with all these new scenarios and it's just rolling out one after another, one after another. So today it's internet. What's tomorrow? Coffee beans. That could be a possibility because Brazil just had a weather phenomenon that killed the majority of their coffee bean crop. Their, the prices are up 24% already. Uh, uh, the crop was decimated by uh, an unusual and unexpected and unprecedented freeze. So weather phenomena, a lot of flooding happening, a lot of famines, droughts, pestilence, um, um, violence. The violence that we see is unprecedented. People are losing their minds because they're not connected to source. They're not connected to God. They're not connected to Jesus Christ. There's an order of things here, people that we ha that we have to follow. We have to accept Jesus into our heart. And once you once you do that, you're off to the races, my friend. We have a plan. We have a goal. Onward and upward. We're progressing toward Christ always. We never lose sight of that. Sometimes we get sidetracked, but we never lose sight. So today it's internet outage caused by who knows what, who knows what they'll say it was from, but we need to pay attention. What's your contingency plan? Do you have a plan B? We do, my family do, does. Do you have uh, candles, batteries, ammo, supplies, medical supplies, uh, 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 flashlights? Do you have a generator? Do you have fuel for that generator? Do you have, I mean, there's so many things that you could be prepared for because today it's this, tomorrow it's that. So if we're connecting the dots in a biblical sense, and in a believer mindset, in a in a in a in a be prepared, uh, persevere in anything kind of mindset, we need to have plans. So that means getting con getting connected with your loved ones, your your wife, your your husband, your your kids, your mom, your dad, whoever that you hold dear in your life that you know will listen to you and 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 think and and think that you're not crazy. Get them people on your side and tell them that there's things happening. There's 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 weather phenomena. There's events. There's there's violence. There's upheavals. There's civil unrest. There's um, food shortages. There's um, there's a stranglehold on our our freedom and liberties, our rights. And so if we aren't connecting the dots now, when? And if not us, who? And if not now, when? Right? How? stay connected to this channel stay connected to those that are speaking truth and that are willing to lay it all out for you to say hey here's what's going on let's pick up the pieces and let's fight this fight together we're believers we're, we're all unified in the body of christ there's a unification process there that when you accept jesus into your life you are connected there's a fellowship yes you accept jesus christ into your life amazing things happen try it i i pray for lost people i pray for those who are found and i pray that we can just strengthen our our faith in jesus and that we can all um, find strength in each other and in our faith because our faith is unending we need to have unending faith we need to be uh, we need to persevere we need to be dedicated we need to have a plan so what's your plan and what's your plan b and what's your plan c i love you guys so today it's internet outage, tomorrow it's coffee beans, the next day it's corn, then it's rubber, then it's this, then it's that, it's that. Stock up, people. Figure out what you need. Come up with the plan A, plan B. Get what you need, stock up, pay attention to people who are speaking truth, pray, get into God's word, and do not lose hope. Do not lose sight of the end goal here, that we have, we have a mission to save souls. There's souls out there that need saving. Our souls needed saving at one point, and what did we do? We turned to Christ, and now look at our lives. Whether you're on the top of the mountain or on the bottom, you still have hope. You still are able to look in the mirror and have hope in that person that you have salvation through Jesus Christ. He accepts everybody. No matter the color of your eyes, the color of your skin, whether you have a big nose or a little nose, whether you walk funny or you walk straight, it does not matter. Jesus Christ has a place for everybody in the body of Christ. And I just pray in Jesus' name, amen. I just pray right now, God, that you will just fill the hearts of the lost, fill the hearts of the many, Lord. We have numbers. We are innumerable. We have numbers. 
But if we aren't unified, Father, what are we? Unify this body of Christ, Father. Unify all believers and true seekers of your glory, Father. And I pray this all in your name, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. I just get excited for this stuff. Don't lose hope. Never.